Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more of our Raja of the Ranch Put Right campaign in EU4. And uh, I think what I was doing last time was I was calling Multan into a war. So, okay, this is a cool little thing. So check this out. <laughs> this is a little, a little cheeky, I'm not gonna lie, but check this out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait a month. He would honor this call to arms. So, this is definitely an exploit, but uh, we're gonna be doing it anyway. So, if I go to declare this war, he would join. Um, he would join him. Hmm, actually. Let's try this out here. I call him in, I say yes. So he's been called, he will join me. But he joined us as an ally against his ally. So what you do is you call them into arms, attack, as long as they would join. So if you can get this a button up here and it says you can call them to arms, all you do is you call them. There's a They don't answer until the next day, but they will answer yes, no matter what. So on the same day, after you call them, you declare war. And now, We're good to go. And uh, eventually they'll take care of that up there as well. Mm hmm. So I had a couple of my graphical settings g got changed up a little bit, so might need to um, change stuff up a little bit. Uh, we'll, we'll get this working out though, it's all good. Need to find a job for him. There we go. So his capital is up here actually, which is weird. There we go, something like this. Let me actually get rid of that little movement stuff. I don't like the movement. I upgraded my graphics drivers and it, uh, <laughs> it uh, messed up a bunch of stuff. So that should look a lot better now. There we go. I'm not sure exactly what we want from him. Oops. gonna have to come up here and handle this guy we're probably gonna vassalize this guy um, so if you don't know uh, Nepalese princedom they get extra morale and manpower recovery they make very good marches so and this is all in their culture Nepalese is all this so if I could make a big juicy vassal so primary culture but he'll accept Nepalese so we're good um, I need to hold off on this till we take admin tech So as far as what we're going to be taking from this war, I'm not so sure. He doesn't have any allies that I'm concerned about. Let's get some uh, spy network on him so we can get some claims. I would probably like to take this so I could get some claims over here. We'll see though. This capital's up here. Let's come over here. Should be good. Where are you going? This guy's being annoying. Just <laughs> He's just running around, giving us the run around. I'll just fight him in the hills. Oh, yikes. He ran away. Got some rebels popping. Come and stack wipe his army. There we go. So they have their whole army on there, so that's good. These uh, little dudes are going to come and suicide on these... Rebels for some reason. There we go. Just like that. And like I said, my economy could be stronger, I know this. If I stated this up, it would be way better. I don't want to state anything until it's the correct culture. So you can see, once we get this Baluchi culture and or Afghan culture, which might actually be a better bet at this point to really go for. We'll see. So... I want, we're gonna need to um, dev for this institution as well sometime soon. Ooh. Upper Doe might be the best bet. So let's turn our army maintenance down for a few months. There's no other enemies left. 
National unrest. We're gonna get rebels regardless. Don't think they're gonna be big, big stack, will they? 7k. Nothing I can't handle. Okay, so we have our... We have claims on these two, so that's probably all I'll take. And then maybe this one, since it's in the same state. Let's uh, make sure we're not getting any coalitions. Hmm. Yeah. Let's improve relations over here. This one we're going to hold off on because when we take this land up here, this rich land, is when it's going to be very, very expensive. We're going to need, in order to form the Mughals, we have to get up here to take this land as well. So probably what we're going to do is we're going to attack these guys over here or something where we can promise John Porin. Yeah, so he would join this, so we'll use that as a pretext to get him in war against his other guy as well. So let's get some claims down here. There we go. Get claims on Mewar. There we go. Let's take this tech. And then how much admin do we need here? 88. So we're just going to wait on it. There we go. You will be a vassal. I have a lot of vassals now. Uh, we're going to need to annex. Start working on annexing them. So let's annex this guy here. Oh, we're at war. Right. So let's... Scooted you. And then... You will be a... This guy will be a march. He's at war, right? I'm at war, actually. He's he's at war as well, I believe, but... Okay. Maybe Multan will handle them. Come on, baby. Yeah. My vassals are going to go in one at a time. I don't know why they keep doing that. Very strange. Also improve relations with you. That's a misplay. I should have been doing that. So I can get claims on these two provinces. This one's the better one. So then what you do... I have the admin I need next, May, next month. So you peace out here. Take all his money. And... Uh, might as well get a little bit of prestige from it as well. So, 74 ducats, uh, 18 diplo, and 6 prestige. Not bad at all. Pour it all up. Increase the autonomy in it because I literally don't care about this land at all. It is worthless. I guess it's not completely worthless, but it's not that good. We can take this now. Upgrade our cab, which we don't have. Then, does he have a claim on here? He does not. So that's a little bit of a prob problem. Oh, no. So we need to make sure that he likes me still. So we got to get claims on all of this. He's got a bunch of rebels. If we were to declare war, it would just be Mahra and Multan would join. Hmm. So I suppose what we could do, he's got pretender rebels. I will offer you land, but uh, just kidding, this is all mine now. As long as I'm there first, it doesn't matter. I'm hoping that these pretender rebels will just stay on this fort and they won't do anything against me. Yikes, that's really defensive. So now I can full annex him and he won't even be upset. Beautiful. It's a lot of admin though. So I meant to march this guy. I forgot about that. That's fine. He's he's going to be chilling up there for quite a while. So let's start the annexation process of Dundar. All right. Okay. So as long as we win this siege before they do, we should be good. I just don't want to fight them. Pretender Rebels have a tendency to be quite, um, tough. <laughs> and so, you can see here, um, well, you can't see right now, but in a moment you'll see. Yowzers. 
I got two wall breaches. Feels good, man. Disease outbreak. The classic. All right, next month we'll be able to start the annexation process of you. Let's do that. We're improving with our little vassal dude. So they have some men. This Mahra guy down here has some men. Baluchistan probably doesn't have a whole lot. Well, yeah, it's Mara. They got a disease outbreak, very nice. Okay, we're looking okay. They want it, ah, crap. That means they're probably coming down my way, or they're coming over here. This is just dryland, so I suppose it's probably better to defend over there. At least they're gunning down my, uh, my vassals. We have defensiveness there, which is great. They're coming to attack me, 50%. I win. Good, I defend. No. I suppose I'll just come back for them later. I don't want to fight them. There we go. Group up with me. Help me fight my rebels. Yes. I love when they help me fight my rebels. <laughs> I get to defend in the mountains. Very good. Well, they're not my rebels, but they're rebels that are going to reoccupy land that I have control of, so they must die. And uh, half off trade efficiency guy again, which I'm pretty sure we already had before. 7% chance. 7% chance. And they die. <laughs> occupy this back. I'm assuming my vassals died, but... They perished, sadly. Let's see if we can track these guys down. He's at war with Hormuz. Yeah. They're not defending or anything, it's just a... Random war going on. So they're just gonna turn right around. Oh, they're not, nice. Well, we're gonna take a river crossing in the... Oh, it's in the highlands. I didn't even see that. Wonderful. So, you guys head down here and we'll head over here. That should be almost all their army, so that's wonderful. Sadly, they're gonna occupy this one over here. It would be nice if they were to peace out, but we'll see. Okay. We're almost... We're making a lot of money. Nice. Okay. So as soon as we take his capital, we'll be able to do whatever we want. I would like to take as much... So this is... Belushi culture. Hmm. If I take all of this, I bet I could form Moogles right now. But I also need to... Um... Does he have a claim on this? He does not have a claim. Get a claim, dude. Okay. I don't need this spy network anymore. Go with mysticism for now, I suppose. Transoxiana declared war on the Timurids. So I suppose this is my chance, right? The independence war? Yeah. So... If we're gonna do this, we need to do it over here, though, because his, um, the culture. But I'm gonna need this province. It's 8 dev, which is the highest in this state, so. As soon as he pieces out with Hormuz, we'll be able to, um, to take that. So we're just gonna hold off. Wait for it. So, let's take an admin advisor. As far as our first idea group. I know that we had talked about quality before. Quality and innovative are just such a strong group together. And maybe quantity would be my best bet or defensive. But um not so sure. Influence has been a big one for me so far with all these vassals. I have been quite enjoying the vassal swarm. Integration is a slow process. That's my force limit at. Yep, just gotta get rid of all of them. No more embargo on Malwa, apparently. Our PP is dangerously close to being small. Let's send an insult to Delhi. 
Wait. Really? The Mewar? How come I'm not getting any PP? I bet they're gonna be invalid at the end of the month, aren't they? No. I'm so confused. How come sending an insult doesn't give me any PP? Interesting. Okay. Regardless. I could attack these guys and get some clay down here. Make our way down to uh, this gold mine. So these guys are allied to Bengal. These guys are allied to you. Okay. You've been warned by Malwa? Hmm, interesting. That doesn't affect this over here, but... He's a vassal of John Poor. Bummer. So he is a vassal of me. He still hasn't got that claim though. Because if I were to attack him, I would like to call him in. And he would join, as long as he wasn't fighting in another war, neither was I. I want Hormuz to piece this out pretty soon. There we go. Very good. Yeah, we're going to full annex him. So check this out. This is 54, but... Oh, wait. Three royal marriages. Let's see here. There we go. Good. Religious deliberation. 20 years, tolerance of the true faith, religious unity. Sounds good. Okay, cool. Anyway, so that lowers it down to 46. Sind can't join. Uh, Delhi, Sir Hind. Yeah. Delhi and Sir Hind are going to hate me forever. So if we're going to do this, if we're going to stop this, we need to make it so... Well, I guess if we do it right at the very end of the year, nobody's going to be able to join. So let's improve with them. Just a bit. So if you do it right at the very end of the year, so check this out. So check this out, right? We're at... Um, let's also take his money. Now check this out. So we took it. Nice name placement. <laughs> uh, can we core it all up exactly? We can. Just barely. We will rival Sir Hind. We will send an insult to him. I can't get PP for some reason. Yeah, I really don't know what that's about. Anyways. Um, so take a look at this. And then... So he could join. Oh wait, he's at 58? Oh, these guys are higher than I said they were going to be. Anyway, Malwa can't join. Neither can Sind. And since it's just the two of them, it won't form. You need to have at least three. Okay. Timreds are being full occupied. That means Afghanistan is more than likely going to be getting... Hmm. Okay. So let's make you a march. It also helps me out because it increases my force limit quite a bit. So, again, raise the autonomy over here. None of this land is land that I particularly care about. It's more just so I can get the cultural stuff. It's going to take some time to recover from it for sure. But you can see here, uh, after we're done coring it all up, we'll full state these two states and we'll be able to culture shift. Sin declared war on Mewar. Hmm. So he owes me favors. Maybe he would help me out. If I didn't have a truce with him. When is my truce up? October. So... Maybe, just maybe... I'm gonna get some rebels over in Sindh. Man, 
my manpower has been definitely been better for now ah uh, yikes all right well let's get these guys out and replace them with some mercs we can afford it for now for sure so let's just do it matter of fact hmm, i was gonna say maybe i should get a advisor but that doesn't sound right let's get rid of the cindy separatists Simmer. So, who are you guys at war with? Simmer. Because Mawa wouldn't join, I assume. They were allied, yeah. Mawa would help. So, our truce with these guys is over. My Diplo rep is ruining that one. Dunport would help, but Ben Gall would join on that one. So he finally got his claim. Perfect. So we don't claim, don't call him in. He's allied to Kangra. Kangra? So we declare this war on our own. Wait a month. There we go. Declare this war. John Poor would join. Call him to arms. Declare this war. Says he joined. But, uh, yeah, he did join, but it was on the other side. So now we are, have a war with Sir Hind. We're going to take at least Lahore. That's the, ver the very bare minimum of this one. I'm just down here hanging out until my Cindy separatists are handled. This uh, calling John Poor in gives us 100% the advantage, so we're good. The Baluchistani separatists are going to fire as well, so it might be nice to have some, uh, some dudes over here to help us out. So these guys are getting sieged down. I might not actually be able to even give that. Oh, they'll actually peace out. It should be fine. They broke their siege. Interesting. This is nice too, because he's a he's a march, so he gets an extra 20% discipline or defensiveness. Going religious ideas first, which is not ideal, but and then we'll actually be able to use we'll be able to uh, oh Chagatai. Yikes. Okay. Multan getting that nice hug box in there. Good on you, brother. Okay. May war is no longer a valid rival. Look at this Sind. It says, forgive me, for I have sinned. Okay. Those Sindhi Separatists are not going to pop anymore. Let's go get some more war participation, so that way I can actually get... Like... War participation in my own war. Okay. Yeah, let's just get the whole guys, the whole stack over there. Uh, splendid. So we're gonna take this, and then we're gonna use the rest of our mill tech and probably diplo or mill points and diplo points. So let's take this, and I will actually really want to dev this. I think upper doab would be best. So we have to wait until we culture shift. Yeah, to be expected. Especially right as I leave, right? And that's the way that that works. Okay. And I, I won't owe these guys anything. So, like, I can take all this. Nobody's going to be mad. I'll just get the aggressive expansion, but... Maybe it would be best for me to just start snaking up. It's hard to say. So I'll beat up on these guys, and then these guys will head down and attack me in the mountains. So it'll be good. Won the Siege of Lahore. Yep, now we just hold on and wait. They're gonna be there in the month. Yep. This one is still scorched from the war we were at before, so. I'm actually gonna get two reinforcement ticks before they get in there. So that's wonderful. I love losing all my men to rebels. Beautiful. Goodness gracious. That's a lot. It's a lot of losses just for fighting rebels. Okay, very good. Cool flag, I like that. Defensive ideas, national tax, and attrition for enemies. Interesting. I'm gonna siege down my little vassal down there. Makes me sad. And this war was literally just to 
hold John Poor in, so I don't care. That's cool though. We use that little trick. I mean, it's it's definitely an exploit, um, but we used it twice in the same episode. So it's a very good way to uh, get around that John Poor alliance. I feel like it's fair too, to be honest with you. All right, so let's make sure we're getting some claims on these guys, because if we can get a claim on Afghanistan, we'll be able to, because we're going to get free free claims on a bunch of stuff once we start going down the Mughal mission tree, as well as Northern India, so. We need to expand our power base as quickly as possible. We have a one siege guy. We got a 13 stack over there, which is annoying. Let's make sure everybody's attaching to me. We're going to win this before he wins that, so we're good. All right, we're going to finish this one up with the next one. Hope you guys enjoyed. Show your support, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Yikes. Bummer. We're at positive stability for like a month. But regardless, like I said, show your support, leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to check out the Discord or if you really like me and you want to support what we're doing over on our Patreon page, the links are in the description below. With all that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. A big special thanks to Jack Thompson, Palmer, Bloodbound, Katie Branch, Jonathan Crane, Jaron Clampett, Wesley Grayson, Corbett Gaming, Michael Walker, Agent Rhino, Callus Castleberry, Blonde Damon, Matthew Balzarolo, William Reed, Gregory the Bittersteel, Christopher Pegolo, and Airborne Animal 7. Check out the playlists linked on the left and right, and don't forget to subscribe.